Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the new boogie bomb in Fortnite. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and to begin we're going to draw the little top area above the ball first. So we're going to draw one curve like this and then we're just going to taper it in, just go down. And then we're gonna draw the same curve as the one that we can draw on top, just smaller. Okay. And then from here we can draw, let's see, let's let's go ahead and draw one more section on the top. So just in here, just make another curve. Kind of the same thing. And then we're gonna go up. And then we're gonna close this. The same curve. So we're drawing everything in perspective, so there's going to be these kind of curves. So for this one here, we're going to draw the opposite curve, so I'm just going to go behind that. Okay, and then from here, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and draw the, the body. So it's just going to be a circle, so it might be a little bit tricky. I have a sketch style, so it's a little bit easier, but if you want to use any kind of drawing aid to help you draw the circle, that'll be fine. If not, you can just eyeball it, it should be fine. Okay, and then let's see, let's, let's go ahead and draw the bottom. There's a little piece on the bottom, so just go straight down. And then again, we got to draw the same kind of curve. It's all the way around. So now, before we draw in all the gray, let's draw in the top first. So, right around here in the middle, just go ahead and draw a line like this. And this part's a little bit trickier, so we're going to go out. And then right here, okay, not on the edge, we're going to come from here and go straight up. And then we're going to draw a circle right here. Okay. And then from this circle, we're going to go straight up again. And now let's draw in this part here. So in here, curve in and then just connect this. I know it's a little bit odd, but we're just drawing the little handle right here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna extend it, and then we're gonna go out, and then we're gonna come down at a slight angle. All right, and we can actually just, from here, just go back up, so it's gonna be a point, and just widen it up right there. And then now from this side, we're just gonna go straight across, Okay, right around there and then now we just kind of connect this so this is gonna be the little handle the little grip thing okay and then from here now let's draw in some details so there's gonna be a little bolt here and I'm gonna draw a little ring here um, this is gonna be the ring but I'm not I'm not drawing that so I'm just drawing this little little detail right there for now. So let's make this uh, three-dimensional and this is um, the trickier part. So from here, I want you to draw this kind of line. So it's gonna slant out. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the same curve as this. On that one. Okay, right here, we're gonna slant out. And then we're just gonna come straight down. And then from here, we're gonna come straight down And then just close it off with the same kind of slant. I know it's a little bit off, but okay. And then we're going to draw the same slant on this side. And now we're just going to draw one horizontal line connecting it. Okay, and then let's put in, there's a little bit of a detail right there, a circle. So now we're going to come down here and draw in the same slant right in the corner. Just draw a little slant. And then from there, we're just going to draw a parallel line of that. Let's go all the way up. Okay, so now it looks kind of three-dimensional. So now, let's see for the little tricky part here, uh, let's go ahead and draw in a center line. So this is just gonna be straight down. And then we're gonna draw the middle line. So this one's gonna curve just like these lines, but, but it's gonna be a lot wider, right? So we just gotta go and just kind of curve it around Okay, 
And then once we have this one, then these other ones are a little bit easier. So we're just gonna kind of use that one as a guide. Just kind of curve it. So we're gonna draw one and then let's draw one more up here. Okay, and then let's see, and we're gonna draw two down here. And then let's draw one more down here. So it's gonna be a little bit smaller. All right, so once we've gone across this way, now we're gonna go down this way. So right here, um, we're gonna draw this first one and just try to make this like a square, right? So this one's not gonna curve as much. So we're just gonna curve it a little bit. Okay, and then on this one, we're gonna curve it a little bit more, but not as much as this one on the outside. So we're gonna curve. And it's very tricky because we're drawing this in perspective. And then now on this side, it's gonna be the same thing. This one's gonna curve a little bit. This one's gonna curve more, but not as much as this. So it's gonna be right in the middle. All right, and that's it. And then you can divide up the squares however you want with different colors. And that is it for this boogie bomb. And hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.